sticks and stones. I'm not the only kid who grew up this way. Surrounded by people who used to say that rhyme about sticks and stones. As if broken bones hurt more than the names we got called, and we got called them all. So we grew up believing no one would ever fall in love with us. That we'd be lonely forever. She was eight years old. Our first day of grade three when she got called ugly. To this day, despite a loving husband, she doesn't think she's beautiful because of a birthmark that takes up a little less than half her face. Kids used to say she looks like a wrong answer that someone tried to erase but couldn't quite get the job done. And they'll never understand that she's raising two kids whose definition of beauty begins with the word mom. Because they see her heart before they see her skin. Because she's only ever always been amazing. He was a broken branch grafted onto a different family tree. Adopted. He was three when he became a mixed drink of one part left alone and two parts tragedy. Started therapy in eighth grade. Had a personality made up of tests and pills. A tidal wave of antidepressants and an adolescence of being called Popper. He tried to kill himself in grade 10 when a kid who could still go home to mom and dad had the audacity to tell him, get over it. As if depression is something that can be remedied by any of the contents found in a first aid kit. To this day, he is a stick of TNT lit from both ends. Sometimes being drug free has less to do with addiction and more to do with sanity. We weren't the only kids who grew up this way. To this day, kids are still being called names. And if a kid breaks in a school and no one around chooses to hear, do they make a sound? Or they're just background noise from a soundtrack stuck on repeat when people say things like kids can be cruel. And if you can't see anything beautiful about yourself, get a better mirror. Look a little closer. Stare a little longer. Because there's something inside you that made you keep trying despite everyone who told you to quit. You built a cast around your broken heart and signed it yourself. You signed it. They were wrong. They have to be wrong. Why else would we still be here? We grew up learning to cheer on the underdog because we see ourselves in them. Not the faded echoes of voices crying out, names will never hurt me. Of course, they did. But our lives will only ever always continue to be a balancing act that has less to do with pain and more to do with beauty.